Hello YouTube, I'm Raffle here today and I'm gonna be showing you how to um implement in um iOS add mob into your project. So th there are many other um add um networks out there such as RevMob or iAd, but unfortunately iAd was um was discontinued and RevMob unfortunately is is kind of pretty lousy. So in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to implement um add mob advertisements into your application. Specifically we're gonna be using the Swift programming language as well. So we're here in Xcode, we're gonna um click a single view application and we're gonna um click next. And product name, obviously you can call it whatever you want to. I'm gonna call mine AdMob Tutorial. And the, this is important, language is set to Swift as well, and devices is gonna be universal. Here you can um mess around with your organization name or organization identifier. Oh uh, you don't have to really edit that, it's not that important. So click next. And save it in your coding workspace. I'll replace my previous um vid my previous folder about it. And we're gonna um make this in portrait view. So we're gonna go over here to deployment info, device orientation, untick landscape left and landscape right. And make sure it requires full screen is also uh ticked. So just saying this will already work for any um existing iOS application. You don't have to do what I did and create an, an entirely new app, but um you can just um you can you can just follow this exact tutorial on an already existing app that you have made, or you can decide to create a brand new app as well and follow what I just did. So let's go to our um, view controller at Swift and let's do some coding. Before we do anything here, let's um go um add in and import our Google Mobile Ads framework. So this here we're gonna um down we're gonna show you how to get to the download link. So this is the AdMob website by the way. Let's go over here, go into google.com and we're going to type in um add mob download framework. And that should be the very first link you should see here is what you click to download the framework. So version 7.21.0 is the latest one at the time of recording. Package Google Mobile Ads uh SDK iOS zip. So click that and simply download that. Okay. Now let's go over here and go and import that into our project. So make sure this box here is ticked. It just copy items if needed. And then we're gonna create groups is ticked and make sure add more tutorials. The, the, the very top one is ticked as well. That which is this A icon over here. So we will finish import importing it in. And let's go over here. So click over on your project name, like as in your actual project name. Go over here to your build phases. And we're gonna see if if our um link binary with libraries is detecting our framework, and as you can see, it is clearly being detected. So we don't have to do anything here as of right now. So let's go to our view controller at Swift and let's do some coding. So underneath our um import UI kit, let's go over here and type in import Google mobile ads. So we're importing Google mobile ads into our project. Now we're gonna um add, we're gonna um add in a delegate. So do a comma, space G A D banner view banner view delegate. And we're gonna we're gonna um space that out. So in between here, in between um the view did load and our um class view controller, we're gonna um type in var variable banner view uh colon space G A D banner view exclamation mark. So yeah, we have, we have told us we have declared a banner view and set it to a GAD banner view. Now we're gonna do coding in our view did load method. So let's get rid of this um comment over here and space that out. So we're gonna be doing most of our coding in in here. So make sure um make sure it is set between the cur the curly parentheses or else it might not work. So let's um start doing it. So we're gonna do banner view. So I, whatever you called it, so I called mine banner view, so that's why I type in banner view. Depending on what you called yours, that's what you might need to change it to. Space equals space GAD banner view, uh, bracket add size, and then KGAD add size. Now, here we're going to be add size, size, smart banner portrait. Now, I am I'm doing the portrait one because this for this um tutorial I'm gonna be um doing it in a portrait app. If your app is landscape, you can um simply change it to landscape and that will be um add it will show an add in landscape, but um 
I'm sorry. I'll do portrait for, for this tutorial. Now I'm gonna space it out and add in self dot view dot uh, add sub view and banner view. And I'm gonna do on um, banner view dot add unit ID equals uh bracket no not bracket uh speech marks. In here we're gonna leave this blank for a minute because we will be um copying and pasting this test um we're gonna be copying and pasting this sample add unit ID here, this simple um test test banner ad. I'll I can show you I'll show you how to create a um real ad as well. This is a test ad on test on ba this is a test unit ID, so I'll be showing you in a few minutes how to make a uh, real one. That'll be like probably at the end of the video. So that'll be banner view dot root view controller equals self. And I'm gonna then I'm gonna do banner view dot load and then the request is gonna be G A D request. Then I'm gonna do um open bracket close bracket close bracket. So just just like that. Make sure um, make sure you're not you don't have an extra bracket or else Xcode will give you an error like so. So make sure make sure it is two close brackets and one open bracket over here. The space it on do let space our request add colon G A D request and this will say equals G A D request parentheses close parentheses and I'm going to re request uh add dot test devices equals a bracket K G A D simulator ID and then lastly we're gonna um, we're gonna call it so we're going to banner view dot load request add so make sure make sure in this last line here make sure request add is what we call it. We, in here when we declared it okay so let's see if we got everything correct and now now let's get right into um the bad add unit ID so before I um before we use this I'll just show you how to actually create a real ID so we're gonna to google.com and we're gonna we're gonna head over to the add mob website like this and then click on the very first link that you see in Google search sign into your add mob account like I'm doing right now and we're gonna over, go head over to apps and we're gonna click add app now has there, have you ever published your app on Google Play? Nope, I haven't. App name, this will be test, no, tutorial, add mob. Platform is iOS, because that's what we are developing for. We're going to click add, and we're going to create add unit. Now, as for, now, for this tutorial, as I said, I'm going to be um, doing it for banner ads, so the interstitial ad will be the one that comes next, so we'll be selecting banner for now. But the next one, the next video about the full screen ads will come up later on. So let's uh, add unit name is gonna be banner test. Now, now we now we created now that we created our um new ad unit. Let's click on our, our newly created ad unit, and we are going to copy this ad unit over here. Now, now since um I'll be doing a test um ad, we have to I'll go over here and simply copy in this banner um ad. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it over here. If you were to earn, if you want to really earn money, you can go over here and copy uh, this instead. So, I can make a comment over here and copy that in here. So this is real ad will be this, and test ad is going to be this one over here. So let me um copy that and paste it. So as you can see, they are clearly different. So this is the test ad. So for this, I'm going to be using the test ad for now. But if you were to submit your iOS application onto the App Store. You would want to use your real one if you're gonna like if you are to submit app to app store use the real one. So like this. So yeah, now so now we're all done. So let's um go over here and choose our simulator as the iPhone 7. And let's build and run our application. So let's um build and run right now. Simulator. 
And let's wait for it to work. So let me enable debugging here. Let's go. There we go. So as you can see from here, nice job. You are displaying a 320 by 50 test ad from AdMob. So once you see that, that means you have successfully implemented um, a Google Ads into your project. So let me click that. You'll be redirected to this uh, website over here, and it will um, you'll be redirected to um, developers.google.com, and it will show you like a bunch of stuff with, about AdMob. So let's go back to our the application. So there, as you can see, it is displaying a um, banner ad, and if we were to resize it, let's say we were to resize it to the iPhone 7 Plus, which is a much bigger screen, it will automatically resize because we said smart banner portrait. So it, that means it will detect um, it will automatically detect what um size our screen is, and it will resize accordingly. So let's go over here to simulator. Let me comment that just to clear up any confusion. We'll resize. And let's go to our simulator and look for the ad. And there we go, everybody. It is resized automatically as well. And when we click that, it is also going to work. Work. So let's, let's stop the um, simulator now. And um, that that is it. So thank you all for watching. I um, hope this tutorial uh, helped you out a lot. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to add in full screen advertisements. So those ads that cover up the entire screen, if you guys are wondering how to do that, that will be right in the next video. So I'll see you guys later.